Hi there, my name's Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. The other day I was talking with my colleague Andrew and he mentioned virtual private cloud. Now that's a term that I had heard before but I wasn't entirely clear on its meaning. So I went looking for a definition and I wasn't disappointed with the answer I found. A virtual private cloud is a group of servers that are connected via their own virtual LAN, with most servers being disconnected from the public cloud. Wait, public cloud? Private cloud? What's the difference? The cloud is what we collectively call the virtual machine infrastructure offered from providers like Linode. It's infrastructure that you, the customer, need not manage yourself, saving you both time and money. What makes a cloud private is a layer of network isolation for resources within each VPC. Servers in a VPC are walled off from other public cloud resources and typically confined to their own subnet or virtual local area network or VLAN. To understand what role a VLAN plays here, imagine five desktop computers in a room linked together with CAT5 or CAT6 Ethernet cables to privately communicate with each other, but with no access to the wider internet. Once upon a time, people would actually do this, but today we remove the cables and move our connectivity from physical to the data link layer of the OSI model with VLANs. While many cloud providers offer a virtual private cloud solution as a product, Linode has been making it simple to set up a virtual private cloud for years thanks to their free VLAN solution. So let's review how to configure your own virtual private cloud on Linode. The first step is to log into the Linode Cloud Manager. Now in this example, we're going to be configuring two Linodes one running our front-end website, and the other handling our database. So we need to configure our first server, and here in this example, this is going to be our front-end server. This is the device with the connection to the wider internet, and it's what listens for and responds to uh, incoming network requests. To do this, let's click on the Create button at the top of the Cloud Manager, and then choose Linode. From here, we can choose a Linux distro. I'm going to choose Debian 11. Next, pick a region. I'm gonna go with Atlanta, Georgia. Keep in mind that only certain regions support VLAN and that all the Linodes that you want to be part of this configuration must be in the same region. Next, we're going to choose our Linode plan. For our purposes, I'm going with a dedicated Linode 4 gigabyte option. From here, you can supply a name for this Linode as well as a root password, as well as any optional things like tags, any SSH keys you'd like to have and enabling backups. But the VLAN field is what we're interested in. Give your VLAN a name and optionally an IPAM address. Now that we have this Linode configured, we can click the Create Linode button at the bottom of the page. Next, let's set up our database server. Just like before, we're going to click Create at the top of the page. But now, just below the headline of the page, we have a few options including Distributions, Marketplace, and others. Select Marketplace. I'm going to choose MySQL here from the App Selection panel. Scroll down and we'll follow similar steps as before. Just ensure that this Linode exists in the same region as the previous Linode we set up, and that these Linodes are on the same VLAN. Once you've created this Linode, congratulations! At its most basic level, we've actually just set up a virtual private cloud. There are many advantages to this kind of setup. We could configure our database Linode to reject all traffic from the broader internet, thus significantly reducing our attack surface. Furthermore, we could add other database instances and configure replication across the VLAN as well, saving time and bandwidth in the process. Keep in mind that with other providers, any traffic between our front-end server and our database server would be routed across the public internet. Furthermore, said traffic would count against your total inbound and outbound transfer limits. But with this configuration, all VLAN traffic is kept within a single data center. It's secured inside the Linode VLAN, and it does not count against our monthly bandwidth. But it's utility like that that makes Linode such a powerful place to deploy your favorite applications. Now, obviously, whatever we deploy on our public-facing server will need to be configured to access the database running on our Linode. You can use the VLAN's IP address to do so. Now, the specifics to configure an app to utilize our VLAN will be up to you in your use case. I can imagine deploying any number of applications on our public facing server and pointing them to use our new database server within our VPC. But the sheer variety of applications that we have available in our marketplace, not to mention the ones that we don't, would be kind of hard to do in a video under 10 minutes long. So instead, we'll leave the specifics up to you. You can check out the Linode documentation if you wanna learn more. 
I would really love to know what you think about this. How do you plan on using Linode's free VLAN service? Leave me a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I think that's going to do it for this video, though. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.